forecast so you'll know first. This is First Alert Weather. A big system, certainly, that, uh, that moved across. Kind of circumvented Kansas City, though. Yeah, yeah it wasn't going to actually mature over us. We thought central Missouri, eastern Missouri. And for those who think the myth, oh, they don't hit cities. Well, Fenton is not that far away from downtown St. Louis's Gateway Arch, down in St. Louis County. So that would probably be that one right there going down toward Festus as well. And even out toward O'Fallon, so St. Clair County getting some of that action too. Once again, it's pretty close to a major metro area, and that's why we say don't let your guard down. When we talk about severe weather, we mean, well, there's that possibility thereof. Doesn't mean a guarantee, but we want you to be more prepared than taken off guard. Here's a look at first alert clouds and radar, and that cloud shield from that storm system is now up toward the Great Lakes. And just to show you how strong it is, even at this hour, almost in May, we're talking about snow still falling in the Great Lakes. Our city view camera, by comparison, calmer weather in 65 with clear skies. Winds out of the west and southwest at 9 miles an hour, 70 in DeSoto, 69 in Overland Park, 66 in Smithville, 66 to almost 68 degrees down toward Grandview, 70s out toward DeSoto as mentioned. Same for Lawrence. And then to the east and northeast, 60s as a rule. Rural's forecast looking pretty good, comfortable in 66. Ninth inning will be down to 59 degrees, clear skies and cool. Not much wind. It should be pretty nice at the ballpark. Low temperatures by tomorrow morning, a little bit cooler. 47 degrees probably for Kansas City, 43 for Cameron. Close to almost the 30s up toward Trenton, right at 40 degrees even. 41 for Chillicothe. To our forecast, looking at your Tuesday, starting off in the 40s, ending up very close to 80 degrees again with a southeast wind now kicking in at 15 with a gust of 25 miles per hour. Highs across the board, even in the 80s, farther down to the south with those gustier winds. And we did mention a couple impact days coming in late Wednesday into Thursday. Wet roads, slow commute, and even some thunderstorms. The way it's looking on first alert future scan, picking up at noon, looking dry for the time being, but look what happens toward the evening hours. I think the evening drive could see some chances of showers and thunderstorms, brief heavy downpours, and once the system moves out, temperatures cool back down. Exclusive first alert non day forecast 47 to 79 degrees, even a slight chance late tomorrow night, Wednesday and Thursday, the impact days with most of it happening in between 80 turns to 68 on Thursday, 60 on Friday, and even cooler than that heading into Saturday and Sunday before we start another warming trend Monday, Tuesday, right in time for the draft, a chance of rain back to near 70 on Wednesday.